Uh, the art community is such a wonderful place, isn't it? You'll find a variety of artists, including crackheads, ranging from tutorials, art styles, tracing, pedophile tips and tricks, and many more. It's great, isn't it? Any type of community is bound to get hijacked by parasites. Gaming community, LGBT community, trans community, art community, and the Olympics. Even gods aren't safe from those parasites. You know, every time I see people posting something like this on Twitter, I always apply the rule 70-30. What is rule 70-30 you might ask? Well, it's simple. 70 is divided by 2, which is 35, and now you have 3 probabilities. So, whenever I see a post like this, there's a 35% chance that this person is an internet troll. Have you ever made an alt account and shitting on your friends on social media with that alt account for no reason? For the other 35%. There's a chance that this person is a bad actor, pretending to support or engage in some community but they actually hate the community that they're engaged or support. And they do this by making absurd and outrageous posts to make whatever the community that they're in, to make them look bad. And now all it's left is this 30%. There's a chance that this person is actually legit. They're not an internet troll, nor pretending to be whatever that they claim to be. This is, uh, well, uh, this is, <laughs> this is who they are. Now, because there's two bad outcomes and only one good outcome, the two bad outcomes automatically combine together and make up to 70%. Because this person could be both a troll and a bad actor. That's why I called it uh, Rule 7030. Well, I mean, I didn't invent the rule 70-30, so yeah, well, do you think this is fair? I don't know. But I think, in my opinion, it's pretty fair. So, this is why I don't have any community, nor do I actively engage with any of them. If I build a community, and if something bad happens in the community, I don't have anyone to reach out for help. I don't have any YouTube friends, uh, I work alone, basically. And that's make me an easy target for those parasites. So it's better for me to stay away for now. Okay, so let's go back to the topic. I mean, some of these posts genuinely make me mad sometimes, you know? It, like, is it really that hard to see the difference between hatred, disagreement, dislike, criticism, harassment, uh, etc? Is it really that hard to see the difference? For example, I don't like ice cream with the shape of a cylinder because I, you know, it feels like I'm sucking a, a, you know, a, a dick. And then these people be like, oh, you're a Nazi, you're a terrorist, you're transphobic for not liking an ice cream with a cylinder shape. I am not fucking drunk. Like, what the fuck, man? I can't ever understand these people. I can't put myself in the shoes of these people because I can't. I, you know, I, 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 I can't even think like them. I don't know what they're thinking. Changing an existing good story and making them a lot worse. Changing anime characters from white to black, skinny to fat, big boobs to small boobs, good looking to ugly. What's the point of all of this? Why don't you just make a new character? Why don't you just write a new story? I get that doing so is a lot easier than making them from scratch. I get that their goal is money, but isn't it a lot easier to make money by not pissing off the public? Isn't it a lot easier to just say, yeah, we're fucked up, we're not doing this shit again? Isn't it a lot easier to just do that? And I bet you the damage will be a lot less as well. Your public reputation will be saved as well. What bothers me about all of these companies is what are they afraid of to a point where they just won't admit that they were wrong and keep dodging the bullet point if i'm the ceo of one of these companies i'll be like all right whose idea was it huh to add this shit in our product eh? what, what was it you huh? you're fired get the fuck out of here i don't know man i'm not a western so i don't know what's going on with the western culture especially america I mean, after all, America is the hero and the rest of the world is the villain. 
I'm normies and based as fuck, alright? I'm just a random dude who was born on a planet called Earth and I spoke languages that humans invented. You know, I like the Soviet anthem. Does it make me a communist? If it does, then the people who like Chinese products support the violation of human rights. Look, listen, I don't have the energy to talk about dramas for now. I need to do a lot of research and make sure that I have the correct sources and I have to make sure I don't, you know, say any, uh, say something that is not true and stuff like that. I don't have the energy for this kind of stuff. Once again, I don't really like covering dramas on my channel. I tried my best to, you know, not talk about them. I did cover some of them in the past. And now when I look at it again, uh, what's the point of this, you know? I learn nothing out of this, I gained nothing in general, well actually I gained uh, quite a bit of views but I ended up targeting the wrong audience which is you know youtubers worst nightmare. To be honest with you, right now I'm out of ideas. I don't know what kind of videos I want to make, I don't know what kind of topics I should cover. Should I just take a risk and cover dramas related to art? Should I just do art talks? Should I just, you know, keep making goofy videos like I usually do? I'm lost for now, uh, but I'll try my best to stay relevant. Alright, that's it for this video, and goodbye. Please make a comeback, we need you. Humanity needs to press that reset button once again.